This is example number one from section 16.1. We will talk here about calculating angular velocities and angular accelerations and relating those two. So we have here a disk that is rotating with respect to point O because we have a pin here. And then we have a, a core that is uh, attached to the disk and a force is applied, therefore an acceleration is created. So we have formation about the acceleration created by that force. That acceleration of this point P is equal to 40 meters per second. And we are asked to find with that information of that acceleration the angular velocity of the disk and the angular position respect to time of that point P. So we are asked to find the angular tilde in respect to time. Solution of that problem. First of all, we notice that we have a linear acceleration, right? So we have to relate a re linear acceleration with a rotating acceleration. And what do we know when we have a point rotating in a circular path? We know we have tangent acceleration and normal acceleration, right? The tangent acceleration of that point, so this is the tangent acceleration of that point, so the tangent acceleration of point P will be equals to, we remember that the velocity of P will be angular velocity times distance. Acceleration in tangential direction will be the derivative of that velocity. So it will be angular acceleration times the distance, 0 0.2. So here we don't have angular acceleration, but we have the tangent acceleration. So from here we can get that the angular acceleration is the tangential acceleration over the radius of that disk. And here we have that this is 4t over 0 0.2, and that gives me 20t, right, radians over second square. So we found the angular acceleration. So let me write that here. So angular acceleration will be radians over second square. That's my first result. Now we find the angular velocity. We know that the angular acceleration is the derivative of the angular velocity, right? Respect to time, we can say that it is 20t equals dv dt. We can put all the variables, similar variables, in one side of the equation, so I'm going to do 20t dt is equals to d the differential of angular velocity. And I'm going to integrate zero respect to time at generic time and from velocity zero, angular velocity zero to angular velocity, final angular velocity. They say that it start from rest, right? So I can say this is zero to and this is zero, so I integrate that and have that this is equals to 20t squared over two evaluating between 0 and t, and they will be equal to final, or the one that we want to find, minus 0. So therefore, we can say here that the angular velocity will be 10 t squared radians over 6. So this is the second value we were asked to find. So we found the angular acceleration, the angular velocity, and now we want to find the angular position, right? And we do similar, right? The angular velocity is the derivative of the angular position. So we do the same. So we have the angular velocity is 10t squared, and that will be the theta the t. So I will do um, 10t squared dt equals to the angular position. So, and I integrate both sides of the equation, t0, which is 0, to t, and here I say theta 0, which is 0, to theta. And I get this is equals to 10 t cubed over 3, evaluated in 0, 3, and this is equals to theta final minus 0. Therefore, I have my position respect to time will be equals to, I can leave it as 10 third, which will be more precise, right? The Q radians. 
and this is the solution of this example.